Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be looking at how to build your very first functional house. I'll take the guesswork out of it and give you a really simple design that's a little bit different, but not too different, nothing crazy. Building in Valheim is a really great thing, but it can be hard to get into the building part of the game at first. So I'll show you how to build a really simple design in the very beginning of the game that'll cover your basic needs when you first start playing. Now, because this is the beginning of the game, we gotta get some wood. It's not gonna be super easy for you. You gotta get one of these stone axes. All you need is just five wood, four stone, and you can just make it wherever. You don't need to be around a workbench. Once you get one of these babies, oh, you are ready. Get that thing equipped, and you're gonna go show all these little tiny trees who's boss. You may see videos on Valheim of people cutting down big trees. Don't worry about that. You're gonna go to town on the little ones. It's actually much faster to get wood by just cutting the little trees down in the beginning of the game. But you see, it's actually kinda irritating, because I run out of stamina so quickly. And that's because I'm not rested. In Valheim, especially when you're cutting trees or mining, these kind of tasks, it's really important to be rested. It's actually quite easy to get rested, as long as it's not raining. All you have to do is just make your campfire, and then press X, or just sit down, however you do that on Xbox. And voila, you'll start resting. A lot of people think you can only get the rested bonus in your base, but that's not actually true. As long as it's not raining, then all you have to do is sit next to a fire, and then after 20 seconds, you'll have four minutes of rest. You're like, I'm just trying to get some wood. I'm just going to cut my trees. But trust me, it's worth it. Look how much faster it is to cut stuff now. Look at our stamina. I stop moving. Boom. It comes back. So, full stamina. Can keep going. Whereas when you're not rested, uh, you find that you just run out of stamina so quickly. And then it takes a while to recover. Whereas here, by the time I get to the next batch of bushes, boom. Easy, right? And then my stamina restores while I'm picking up the resin and the wood. As you can see, I've already gotten 38 wood, just from cutting trees in this video. It really doesn't take that long. We're gonna keep going through and clearing these until we have around 150 wood. We wanna be able to build three of these wood stacks, okay? Here we are, we have our three piles of wood. This is all the wood we need for the starting base. But before we make our base, where are we going to put it? Well, that's a good question. If you're having trouble finding a spot to build your base, consider checking out my video where I outline all the different kind of features you can look for that make a good building spot for your base. There's things like being close to the ocean, being close to the biome you're about to explore, having access to the resources you're interested in, etc, etc. So if you feel confused, just check out that video. For now, I'm going to assume that this is really the beginning of your Valheim adventure. You're more comfortable in the meadows, and the Black Forest is a scary place with trolls. Maybe you haven't even met a troll yet. In which case, I envy you. You're in for some of the best that Valheim has to offer, and I want to help you have more fun. And trust me, Valheim is a game where you should build stuff. I know you're going to be like, no, I'm just not a builder. There's people in Valheim who build, and there's people who play combat, and I'm one of the combat ones. No, no, no. Don't worry about that duality bullshit. It's all nonsense. There's a builder in everybody. It's more fun when you fight this stuff and you build. You can drink coffee and light tea. But my, my best recommendation to you is look in the beginning of your world, right? You spawn here in the center. And then try and explore the continent that you're on. And get the edges of it. You don't have to explore every single part. But just explore and get to the water and kind of make a circular area that you know where everything is, okay? And then while you're there, you're going to go and you're going to see things. Sometimes you'll find clearings like this. Other times you'll find the shoreline and you'll get a feeling. You know how when you're outside and you need to pee or use the bathroom, you get this feeling. You see a spot and you're like, yeah, I could pee there. That's the kind of thing you're going for. You want to feel the land around you. Look at these spots. You see that oak tree? These houses here? Well, what if you made a little house, you know, right next to the little oak tree? It's all flat right here. It'd be a great spot. And then you can access all these pretty meadows. That means you'll easily see any boar or deer off in the distance. And a place like this would be a really cool place to put your base. But personally, I think you should explore and scout around and ask yourself, hmm, how do I feel about this spot? 
maybe find two or three spots, okay? Once you've found those three spots, pick one of them and go to town. I actually like this oak tree. I think oak trees are really pretty, so this is where I'm gonna put our first house. Once you pick your spot, you gotta bring the resources here. So if you were smart, you brought them with you, or you were silly like me, and you left them out in the beginning. So I'll go grab them and bring them back. Now we have our wood, let's get started. First I'll deconstruct this wood, grab all of it, and we need to make our first workbench. It's not going to be the one we actually use in our base. You have to make a workbench so that you can then build the walls and various other features. To start our house, we're going to use these wood wall halves, and we're just going to make one wall. I'll put the base right here. We're going to do one, two, and then three. There you go. And then we're going to place these wood poles. And we're going to place them so they snap into place. One, two, three, and four. Now we'll add a little bit more trim. We're basically making our windows, which are the center of the little hut. Let's trim these up. And then add trim right here. And boom, you now have some little windows for your house, okay? Now it's really straightforward. You're gonna use regular build pieces then just put them on top. There we go. And the next step is to finish the trim. You'll feel deeper connected to the things you build in Valheim if you get in the habit of trimming your buildings. And the roof's very simple. We'll just use these 26 degree thatch roofs and then make the snap point in the top, place three of them, and then we're gonna place it again, three more of them, and now we're gonna make little walls right here where these pieces end, like that. Now we have our basic structure, look at that. I'm gonna trim up these sides with these wood beams here. And then we're going to use this sort of wood wall piece, this angled wood wall right there. And that helps with shelter, so these pieces are actually quite useful. There we go. Now I'll make our little fire, and I like putting it sort of in the center. And this works fine if it's not raining, but if it rains right now, then this fire is going to go out. So usually what I do is I add a little roof, very simple. We're going to use these corner pieces. See these thatch roof O corner, 26 degree? We'll use two of these, and we can just put one there, and then the other one here. And now if it starts raining, as you can see, the fire won't go out because it's covered from the rain. So now we've almost got our structure finished. All we need to do is build this back wall. I usually just make it a regular wall, but I like having it a little bit open. So I make one regular wall there, and then here, instead of filling that gap, what we're gonna do is actually just trim the roof. So just like I put these two pieces there, we're gonna use this piece, this wood beam, 26 degree, and then just trim there, and trim there. And that's gonna make it so that we still get to keep the shelter bonus while we're inside. So if we go inside, as soon as we enter, we should get our rested bonus, and then even if we go in this corner here, we're still fine, see? And there we have it. We have the basics of our hut. We saw that the fire survives the rain. It's a bit out of the way, so we don't step in it, but it's close enough that when we build our workbench, we can put our workbench right here, maybe. Let's see, test it. Yep, we can use it. That means it's in under the roof properly. And then we need a bed, right? So let's place our bed maybe right here. And then let's test it. Spawn point set and you can't sleep. That means that it works. So there we have our bed and we have our workbench, but we're gonna get a bunch of random crap when we're out adventuring. So we need some chests. And I'd say a good number to start with is three. Basically as many chests as you have, you're gonna fill them with stuff. Keep in mind when monsters come around, they'll try and attack your chests. So it's not really ideal to have the base open like this, but it's the meadows and this is your first base, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. The worst thing you're gonna encounter is a boar and 
it's going to be more interested in you than the chest. <laughs> and you can see that after all that, I actually have 22 wood left over. So you can play around if you want to. There's always more that you could do. You could actually double this. This is pretty cramped, right? Well, you could make the other side another room. Or you could make it so it's square. You could add a whole bunch of stuff to it and improve upon it. I just wanted to show you something really simple that covers all of the basics. You have your fire that survives the rain. You have some basic storage. And you have a workbench and a little bit of space available to upgrade the workbench. You can also place things on this side of the workbench. For example, let's say that I wanted to upgrade the workbench. I don't really have that much space to work with inside, but I can just put the items right behind it here, and it makes the base look kind of cool. And then if we use the workbench, we can see that we have our level 2 workbench. So you can use a bit of tricks to either hide the upgrades below, above, or behind the workbench. They don't have to be in front of it and take up the using space. Thanks for watching my video, everybody! If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing a dedicated server from Zap, my sponsor. You can find my video that shows you how to set up your own dedicated server so that you can play with your friends. It's one of my favorite ways to play Valheim. I personally always play with a dedicated server, although I get one for free from them, so of course I do, right? <laughs> But that being said, there's something about when other people can interact and build stuff when you're not there. Just the potential for that happening makes the world feel more alive. I don't know how to explain it, and obviously I have some bias, but that's what happens for me. When I just make a world, it's so-so. But when I make a world and other people are joining it and I see what they built, it just fills me with joy. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but when I see that somebody joined the world and they built a hut, it does something to me I can't explain. And I just feel happy. <laughs> like, really. It's one of the reasons I love this game. It it's such a beautiful experience. All right, everybody. That's it for now. If you want another Valheim tutorial, then comment below and let me know what you would like to learn about. I love to make Valheim tutorials, and I will learn about anything in this game to make a tutorial for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!